Today I'm going to teach you five things that Dan Mace does in his films that makes his style his. Hey guys, my name's Nick and welcome back to another video. I know I've been gone for a while, I'm sorry I've been away. There's a big um, new chapter episode 2 coming shortly. Anyway, if you'd like to check that out and it's out, I will put a card. If not, then just continue watching the video, but I'll put a lot of effort into it and everything. Okay, so some of these things I'm going to talk about are in editing, where it's like physical stuff that you can do in, like, in an editing software, which are like specific things, but I'm also going to be talking about more general things he does in his films that kind of make it make them work. Also some physical in-camera things that he does. Okay, so number one is he always has some sort of narrative happening in the background. What some filmmakers or vloggers or something will do is they'll talk about something and then they'll have a sequence with music in the background that relates to what they were talking about. But with Dan, you rarely get that. They seem to be always be put together. So he'll be talking behind the cinematics, but rarely is there any time in a video where Dan isn't talking about something, except during the intro and during some very, very short sequences. A way you could go about utilizing this is making sure to plan out the story of your video and turn it into more of a story than a video and then try and translate the story into a video with you narrating. It's kind of confusing, but if you get what I mean, write out a script for the video and make sure there's little time where you're not talking and continuing the story. The second thing that he does a lot is he uses shots in quick succession. A lot of people will use a shot or a cinematic for a long period of time, maybe five or six seconds, but what Dan likes to do is he likes to have lots of shots happening very quickly, some lasting a second, half a second, and to speed his videos up he uses jump cuts so he never, so he never usually includes space between when he's talking. To match this he usually has quite upbeat hip-hop music or a beat in the background, which sort of keeps the tempo of the video high and pushes it forward. And there was never usually any time in a video where he's not playing some sort of like upbeat music, except in some circumstances where he's talking about something serious or... A third thing that Dan does in his films is he, quite a lot of the time he uses movement to his advantage. For example, at the moment I'm going to look at a quick scene where he's on a, a ferris wheel and he has a quick succession of shots that are all linked in movement to show the movement of the ferris wheel. So we start off with this shot of a merry-go-round and then he speeds up the footage to show the merry-go-round going around really fast. Then he cuts to a shot of the ferris wheel going around really fast with speeded up footage and then another shot of the ferris wheel going really fast and then a shot from inside the ferris wheel going really fast so you can see the movement and then he does a zoom transition continuing the movement of the ferris wheel into a ferris wheel carriage which is a lot more fluid of a transition into where he is talking at the beginning of the video. So I spent the last couple of weeks with the most intense creative block. So that's just one example, but I bet you can find many, many examples throughout his films of ways he utilizes movement. A fourth thing he does is he puts text on the screen. Now this is a thing that Casey Neistat uses very, very much, and I think it, and I think that is what inspires Dan to use this. But if there is a word in his narrative that he wants to emphasize or a phrase or something, he'll put it up on the screen in big, bold, just aerial letters. He'll sometimes have it come onto the screen as he is talking, just like like this. That can easily be done by writing out the phrase and then making a cut at each point he starts a new word and, and then masking each uh, piece of text so that after the cut a so that after each cut a new word or letter comes in. A final thing that Dan does is he utilizes color grading to give all his footage quite a similar look. He has a lot of blue in the shadows and you can see that, especially when he shows himself in New York City. The closest LUT, I guess, that I can um, relate to the color grading that Dan does is the Osiris M31 LUT, and I'll leave a link for that in the description if you'd like to see it. It's very similar to the color grading that he does, and um, yeah, this particular LUT is free, but you, the way you would go about this sort of color grading manually is you would um, add in quite a bit of contrast and add in quite a bit of contrast, lower the shadows, um, add quite a bit of blue to the shadows and add some orange to the highlights because blue and orange are contrasting colours and this is quite commonly known as the orange and teal look but Dan uses it where the shadows are brought a lot lower down than say Sam Calder or other travel filmmakers would use it. Um, before I end this video I want to say please don't copy Dan, he makes incredible work and I doubt he's watching this but he's a real inspiration but be inspired by what he does, don't like copy 
copy it outright. It's obvious when you're copying someone, but taking inspiration and taking something that someone else does and putting your own creative twist on it is a great way to improve your own work and if you like this video, please leave a like down below, I would really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I'll be making similar videos like this, also editing tutorials and my new chapter series, which will probably be monthly or every two weeks, I'm not sure at the moment. They're originally going to be weekly, but they take way too long to edit, and I just don't have that time in my life. <laughs> anyway, yeah, leave your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.